um, a lot more about selecting your previous week and then identifying uh, you know preparing for I think there are three objectives for this week and two of them I'm just copying them and I'll just share um, I sorry, just while I was writing, I was not okay. So I am just, as I said, writing it out just now, unfortunately, because I just thought this is much more easier uh, doing that. And so it would not, it's not that organized. Um, so you have to. Um, So do you see my screen? So this is the one. Uh... Okay, so. Hi, am I back? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. So, um, this week um, there are three objectives, and the first objective is basically to work on one of your projects. Like, so if you are in Web3, you know, select one of the, your Web3. Um, if you are in data engineering, select one of the data engineering projects that you like to improve. And if you are in machine learning, um, the same machine learning engineering, select one and work on it. So, but also you can work actually in all of your repositories. The whole point is you're preparing some, you know, at least one very well, like you're happy and that you can always just present at first, like, you know, if someone says, like, you know, how, what have you worked? That would be your flagship project, right? That you will be talking, you know it in detail, you have read, you know, you have uh, something, your repositories are good. 
if it hasn't been completed, you completed it, okay? So that's one component. The other component next week, from Monday to Wednesday, everybody like basically have to present a 10 minutes, um, basically just really 10 minutes. That means prepare it only for seven minutes and then three minutes question and answer um, on three projects that you select. So one from Web3, one from machine learning engineering and one from data engineering. You basically prepare for next week um, to present it to me and other people that I, I would bring on the presentation. Right, so that that would be your final presentation uh, before graduation. And the third component, the third objective is that we will be selecting, basically it's much more of a planning. So instead of you have been doing on a project, but now you should also start planning to do a project on your own. Um, basically, even if you are a junior, you're kind of, but you're already achieving that level of, uh, in my opinion, that you are bringing new information, new insights to a project. And the next, of course, uh, logical um, conclusion is, or the, you know, grows is that you also have to plan a project from scratch, just like writing your own challenge document, right? So to write your own challenge document, I have proposed at least three um, on the three areas that that will be selecting. And so the the first one on Web three is that you. One, one of the things that I've, I've realized, we could, you could really, some of you could really turn some of your work into an actual startup that can be funded. You know, it's simply, I believe that is almost there with just the right amount of work, okay? So, um, especially in the Web3 areas, you know, some of the work that has been done is really almost, almost there. And one way to do it is basically to plan uh, the refund by location project, for example, and to deploy it on a private blockchain. So we will talk about that, but it's about actually this week would be like to read and plan um, until next week, basically graduation, you plan your capstone um, project. Basically, if you want, for example, on this area, like you could be just thinking, okay, I want to build a, a private blockchain. That means that I will not pay or any transaction is not, you know, the tokens I generate in a certain way, in a, you know, in a, in a manner that I can distribute. Of course, it needs to have value, but um, there are, it's called private or enterprise blockchains. So it's about setting up an enterprise blockchain or a private blockchain and deploying, you know, that enterprise blockchain can be, you know, a kind of a test net, right? Um, and could be, you know, we will read and would basically grow together. Uh, we would support along the way but it's about actually deploying your, um, your basically refund by location on private blockchain that allows you to actually demonstrate that for any company, you know, uh, to make it as a startup. Like uh, you can just use cases for this lo uh, refund by location in a blockchain. And another one is credit scoring based on blockchain transactions and KYC stored in basically in, in the blockchain again. So that's a new type that is coming and you could also planning um, in that area. On the data engineering side, it is there is some that are actually already available, you know, the Kapacha based uh, labeling, data labeling. You can go on this website that they already offer that kind of service. That basically, you know, you have seen it most of the time, people tell you like, okay, identify this cut or that kind of thing. Those are considered as a data label because you are getting from humans. So it's very similar to the, you know, what you set up on data labeling, but this one will be really, you are planning it to be providing a Kapacha service for anyone for free, while you would basically use it for training. So it's setting up that, that infrastructure, you know, how do you, how do people can, can use your Kapacha service? You know, basically it has a web component, you know, building someone who will use your API to show, you know, a verification of humans, but then you actually design the data collection and the data labeling in, in, in between. Again, that one can be used, especially in the African context. You know, if you get certain attraction, you would really be able to easily by providing to many, many uh, government type of uh, companies that are like, you know, uh, or websites for verification while at the same time collecting data and giving them that kind of sharing, right? So that one is also one type. I believe that some of the data engineering works you do can actually translate also into a startup that you can go for, ask for funding. 
and this is one. Um, and the other one is basically based on, uh, I, I will come, I, I don't see the, um, the part, but um, I'm just going to. So here, what I am. So this one, just I'm just listing it here. So the one project is the Capacha, and the other one is the. Um, so the other one is to have a tech stack to build a tech stack for data enrichment of an e-commerce. Um, business so okay I, I would I would come to you just let me finish that one so this is basically you are trying to be a, a data company or a data startup that actually allows people to like especially to enrich their data so a lot of companies have you know data but then their data is not usable unless it's enriched from or they could improve their model, they could improve their understanding, they could improve their visualization, anything with the right uh, format of basically data enrichment. And one Python package um, is AppGini. And this one, you can see that they actually provide um, very interesting data enrichment process. Like, um, so this is the AppGini. They really actually give you some data enrichment for date time, postal, and country keys, phone number, hashed email, IP addresses, and, and a few others. It's basically building on top of it, so you can also build for data enrichment and selling it as a service. Um, and then on the machine learning track, I'm thinking a lot more on deployment of some of your models. Basically, uh, it's called quantization in edge devices, basically on mobile phones, right? And then on... Um, basically Arduino type or uh, Raspberry Pis or any other accelerator on edge, basically on, on IOTs. So that one is also just basically now, you know, how can you go that, that kind of process, you know, uh, because that's also something that is coming and you could build um, certain, um, you know, startup that can be funded in that area. So these are the three areas that are proposed. Of course, you can come up and propose. And all we do ultimately is to help you prepare in these areas that you, you know um, we will try to help you across your planning and then also just sometimes support you uh, along the way but you are the one who's writing basically the challenge document for your own project in, in that case you can also do it in a group or you can do it individually and you know you can team up on that as well um, so that is uh, Okay, then I, I can now. So this one is just the document that is there. Um, and so you, you'll basically be able to see it just basically that's why. Okay, now a question and answer, Fisa. And then. Okay. Mohammed, that's uh, basically on week, on week 12, it will be shared. Just uh, one second. Okay, go on. Okay, several questions. Uh... On the third objective of this week's char challenge, we are basically going to propose a challenge document and implement it, right? It's not only so, about Yeah, but the, the implementation is not going to be this week. The implementation is that once you finish, uh, once you graduate, you will have some time, right? While searching the yeah. job. And, and, and so this is basically our continuous engagement with you. Uh, at the same time, you are also not only just searching, but you are working on something that actually you can bring together all your 
learnings basically in one including to to start thinking about you know even if not even anything but you can at least apply for one funding um you're or, you know you can just put it as a startup and as early funding um you can search and if it succeeds amazing but if it doesn't you tried something and you learn something okay so the next question would be um are the are the projects you mentioned like something you recommend or something we should do can we come up with our own yeah you, you can come up with your own okay we can come up with the wrong but this, this is, is like a, a more like a recommendation it's not uh like a guide. it's a starting it's my own interest let's say it it's my own interest okay. based on what i saw um and also the kind of it, it puts together some of the skills but i absolutely say the whole point is for for me it's for you to think given the different resources you have seen the people around you the support that you have the yeah. knowledge and skills that you acquired what can you do it, it doesn't have to be a startup right it's just i'm just much more you know much more business driven here but it's just something that you can put together for a social cause for something but that that is just be, you know that has a potential you know that you can just see something yeah um, okay so the the third question i have would be in order to really focus and dive in i think instead of doing like all of them all three like data engineering machine learning and web3 i think we should focus on just one of them Maybe yeah no, i i'm saying it's only one person will focus on one but then it's the it's only the uh oh. So the the mentioned uh, tracks are basically like a guide and yeah. not. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's I just like for one. No, 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 no. For one person oh. would it be one. Uh, but the, um, this one is so. This one is for basically like the three are for the three tracks, and one can choose if they're interested in Web three. They can choose this one if they're interested in the data engineering. This one and the machine learning engineering. This one. Okay. I just thought we should come up with three different no, projects. No. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Are we going to have like an engaging, uh, like an interactive uh, session sometime in the future or is this? Yeah. So I think we would, we would be, we would be supporting one way or another because we would be, you know, together for the next couple of months in any way through intensive job search and others. So the plan is to arrange our resources around supporting this, you know, by team. So that basically like these people would, it will not be like intensively like now, but it will be, there will be depending on the progress, the effort will support. Okay. So okay. any question I have should be really considered after I choose which project I yeah, exactly. I mean, and, until you choose this week, we'll support that. You know, if you need to set up a call, if you just take steps, whatever, you know, it's it's basically exploration. If you want to identify, you have identified people to work with, and you basically are designing yourself. Imagine it. This is just, um, and you can come up with your, you know, as a group, you can come up with an idea, as an individual, you can come up with an idea. You can follow this one. Um, so it's basically, this is much more trying to become the imaginer like you know like the not just who takes order and then ex, you know implement but also come up with an idea come up with something and plan and then identify resources identify the scope of the, the project as well as also basically identify resources that are needed plan how would you get that resource everything basically that this is okay I basically had several questions on all of the tracks, so that uh, I don't think that is going to be necessary because we are going yeah. to choose one. So maybe I will really find my questions and then come back. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Mohammed? Yes. Um, am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes. Um, so um, I'm asking about uh, how, how Ten Academy or how uh, the the program will look like after we graduate. Do we have, like, for example, if uh, the schedule for our day uh, is well known in the in the training period, but after the graduation, how the schedule will be? 
they will come back to you. I think the uh, Everest and the team, and you know, they will come back to you. But we have uh, completed what we call like the intensive job search for the next three months. So it would be exactly like uh, organized in a sprint of one month. So that means whoever is in would would come in. You know, there is a highly organized manner that uh, basically is about application with just a, a very supported. Uh, intensive job application, plus also just some upgrading of some skills like SQL, challenge, and some other challenge. But yeah. they are much more going to be, you will be now job ready, so you're not going to be given, you know, every piece, like, you know, not breaking down like in tasks, but much more like, here is the outcome, you know, go and learn, co-learn together. So it's called the study together process. While okay, so, uh, yes, I have another question. So, yeah. um, um, do do ten academy recommend uh, us to involve in internship in the, in the job uh, searching phase, so that we could uh, take step further uh, in the in the career uh, path, or we just um, you do not recommend that, and you recommend going for a junior or an entry level job directly without doing an internship and if uh if it that without doing possible, what without doing without doing internships yeah i think okay. it's a, if the internship if the internship is something that that is paying we we usually are happy even if it doesn't pay if you are happy and if you learn it's also fine but our interest you have to know is that you get a job that is paying and not only just just paying, but something that is that would not make you um, think the basic, right? So we believe strongly that people who are just thinking money will not have that, uh, you know, they, they will not grow as much because then they will be doing here and there jobs that is not really related to the career. So we prefer, of course, that you get a job that you grow like it's related to your career and you grow in that career. But if the internship provides that, we actually encourage that. So it's, it's up to you, but know that our main interest is that you get paid and then you also pay us back as a paid forward so that we can train next, right? So your success is our success, right? So if yes. you don't get paid, we don't get paid. And, and we made it intentionally like that because we want to make, we want to be successful from, you know, if the system works, we'll be successful, you'll be successful. So it's a very, the system is designed such that, you know, we don't just let you go become nothing. Right? Yes. We would do every, everything that we have, we spend every resource we have for you to get paid so that you can pay back. Yes. <clears throat> so uh, in this situation, if, uh, if we suppose that I got a job, but the, the job uh, do not, pay me as much uh, as it could so uh i'm also in the job so our, our our part is very clear here our, our part is very clear here you can read it if it's you know if the gross is below 500 you know we will not charge 500 dollars we will not charge until you get yes. that but we encourage I, you I'm and not, we support i'm, I'm not yeah. i'm not asking about the money but i'm asking about how i could manage the the job searching I will I will be searching for a job that will pay me the, a minimum five hundred dollar. So how I could manage um, doing a job searching while doing the job uh, also could could that uh, be doable uh, in 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 your perspective or in point of in your point of view? Um, could I? Um, we, we designed it. Yeah, we designed it such that it is you can do. This, the intensive job process while also at the same time working but it requires commitment the same commitment you have now but we don't design we didn't design it to be the, as intensive as the training but it still allows you know as long as if you spend for example in a day something like five hours or i don't know how much like you know a particular but it's not it as long as you do that it's fine yeah so yeah we we had in mind that you could be working on other projects uh, while getting small money here and there but you could really you're dedicated and planned and focused time managed to actually achieve a better result so we 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 yes. have that in mind 
Yes, that, that answered my question very clearly. Thank you for that. Great. Okay. Jonas, you had your hand. Uh, Mohammed Al already mentioned uh, who was about to ask about the internship. I think that's answered. Good. Maybe it's none. Uh, yeah, my question is about uh, this week's um, uh, work, work of this week. Uh, so uh, we are asked to choose. Uh, yeah, hello. Do you hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think there is a delay. Uh, sorry. So I'm asking about uh, uh, this week's challenge, basically, that we are asked to to choose um, about three projects that we um, we worked on before and do a presentation on, and one 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 project uh, to improve uh, improve on uh, according to our track, right? Um, I'm sorry. Yes, that's true. So one is a okay. particular an actual hands-on yeah. task you do, right? That basically you are improving your code, writing code, like component, you know, improving, doing something. The other part is preparing for a talk next week by selecting three projects in each of the three uh, carry tracks and, and preparing for like a, a 10 minutes, but think of it seven minutes. Um, talk that you pre you present, and then then um, the other one is much more planning uh, for your capstone. Okay, um, so uh, the four projects that are we are supposed to well three projects we are supposed to talk about. Can it be a um, a team uh, project because some projects we work in teams and some were individual absolutely absolutely yeah it, it, there is no distinction from my side actually people so, talking talking about their teamwork is also important as long as you attribute what you have done you know you can you can say what has been achieved and then what you have contributed as long as you do that you can represent that team when you are okay. presenting it even if you were not you were like did something small but you can use the entire thing that was achieved but then you attribute you know this this project was done as a team and I have done this part of it. It's very important. Yeah. Okay, final question. Uh, uh, so for the project that we, specifically the project that we're supposed to improve on, can it also yeah. be a team project? And ca how it's, can we how can we do that? Like we were working- I, I think with... you have to find a way. You know, you can ask the other people, you can work just, you know, you can look at other people's code, improve that one, their code. You can basically become the maintainer of, yeah. imagine if that was an open source thing, you can be the maintainer of that. In you know, whichever way, but if you if you are happy, if you want to take it, um, you can also take the the team project to to improve on. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Uh, Adiet. Hi. Um, Hi. What 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 expected of us this week is still a bit easy for me. So uh, I'll just start by what what are we supposed to submit today? I saw a submission. Yes. So it's exactly, exactly. You know, the progress. The progress. The so progress what have you done? So so uh, today what you are submitting? No, no. Today what you are submitting is you select a project and okay. you state what's what you'd like to improve on. You know, in which okay. component you wanna work on. And then on Wednesday, it's just like the usual. You present, you kind of submit what is, you know, what have you improved? What have you done kind of summary and, and that. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Okay. Uh, Gideon and Fissa. Okay, my question is, uh, what if the project we're doing requires an instance? Uh, will we have access to the instances? Unfortunately not, unless, uh, I think it's, you know, let's say, if it is, yeah, I think it, it's going to be much harder. Uh, if there are enough people, we can launch one instance, like working on that project, but it's much harder, like to maintain that, just because of the cost issues. Um, but we can, 
we can plan and as we go and we can improve on that but that that was something that of course i know becomes the sticking point so yeah i think that's just uh, right now we are not planning to support like to large instances um but if you came up with a proposal that would i would just say like okay you know we have enough we will just need only this small resource that we, we can probably try to help. You just have to understand, like, the more structured and the more easier it is, then it's easier to support. But right now, this is much more everybody does to improve their profile, right? It's basically, and so um, it's much harder to structure it. And so, yeah, the simple answer is we're not planning. That can be a different from application perspective. Yep. Okay. I hope that your answer, your question is answered. Uh, sir? Yeah, I heard you mention the second objective, big like three trucks. So I just want to make sure. The second Are objective is a presentation, to... right? A presentation. You do. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna prepare a presentation on, on, on three of the projects that you have done before. In those three, they must represent one from data engineering, one from machine learning engineering, and one from um, Web3. Now, the timing that you can use to focus on them would be really up to you. So you can just say like, okay, you know, you can use only one minute to describe one of the track, another minute to describe another track, and you spend, let's say, the rest of the time, you know, five minutes or more on the part that you really are happy. It's up to you how you allocate your time but you should just tell us what you have done in some summary way about three projects and the three should be about the three different tracks yeah, that was my question which is uh, are the tracks flexible so yeah thanks you answer that great is everything clear super clear like you know it's it requires a little bit of because it's not guided it requires a little bit of discipline as you can see now the more something is structured the more it's easy but you're now transcending that boundary and that means you really have to be proactive to actually start writing up like kind of just become that okay and that basically becomes even transcended even more as you now plan for your capstone right because now you're not only now you have at least a task but in that phase you don't even have a task you have to come up with a task so you have to feel the change um, and adapt to the change, okay? And be proactive and be active in discussing, really use the Slack, make sure that, you know, it is not a rest, a week for rest. It's actually a lot of work, but the work is not written. So, which means, which sounds sometimes, oh, there's no work, but it's actually, there's a lot of work, but it's not written. You have to write it, okay? So I, I really, really stress that fact as you change you have to recognize the change and and sometimes change really is a little bit tricky okay so uh adiet um, you said one or three projects so we are going to present not when we say next week, week between monday and wednesday because everyone will have 10 minutes they will present it separately and i mean maybe we can plan like in general but let's say i mean if people want to join maybe that's uh, fine but let's say that and then it's like on three projects for 10 minutes but i would say leave three minutes for question and answer because it's a hard to cut. Yeah, so exactly. next week we'll be, it doesn't matter or uh, it doesn't matter how track we'll be presenting from web3 ml exactly. and db yeah but the time and location on your presentation it's okay. up to you so you could be talking for five minutes one project but one one minutes the other projects but prepare as if like you are actually demonstrating your skill in these three tracks for an employer and some employers would come uh, I mean, basically, I would invite some people who are interested to come and attend. Okay. So it's basically you are presenting it now 
finally, after learning so many, after doing so many presentations, after doing so many Mondays, now is the... Okay. You know, okay. Well, but for Wednesday, for this Wednesday, is just one project. This Wednesday, yeah, it's like, yeah, this Wednesday, there's no particular presentation other than just the usual progress reports, you know, like, um, oh, okay. what is it called, the, like the, you know, the submission in the meet on Wednesday and then Saturday, basically what you have done, just the report, right? It's, okay. there's no particular presentations uh, All here. Right. Thank you. All right. Cool. And there was one hand, but it was gone. So I'm going to just start from Natna and Melissa. And then. Okay. Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are. Uh, okay. Uh, I have one question. Uh, how, like, how far should we stick to the project we choose? Like, for example, like if I, let, let's say I chose uh, A-B testing for my capstone project, the project I want to improve and go on. Yeah, but that's but not capstone, right? After a capstone, week. The capstone is something else. This one is only will, the improvement on one of the project will end this week. You will do it and uh, that's it from our side. So the capstone oh, is a completely different project you plan. It's not, you're not selecting from the, the, you know, it's basically just a completely something that you will be working on for a while, you know, as much as you want. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. That's clear. Yeah. The capstone is a completely designing only your thinking for the capstone. This week you are just start planning, identifying what you want to work on, you know, propose your own project, you know, your own topic. It doesn't matter. And then you try to plan it. And then for the, um, the improvement, it's much more like you select and improve one project such that this becomes a flagship, call it the flagship project. So that's okay. what we are going to do like for this week. For this week, we just pick a project we, we want to improve. Exactly. Yeah. By improve means really you want to make it, you know, there was something you want, you would have liked to do, but you didn't have time. Now, and there was uh, that project you actually really wanted to work on it. So you now have a chance, but that doesn't really stop you from working on improving many of your projects as well. You know, it's just for simplicity, we just say one, but you could really work on multiple and improve them. It's up to you. As long as you state it now, what you would like to do. And, you know, by end of today, you would have to give us the plan, your plan, what to do, right? So it doesn't have to be one, but for simplicity, we just say one, but it can improve a number of your projects as well. It's really polishing, right? You know, preparing it for your, let's say, for your portfolio. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, Margaret, and then Mohammed, and then Andernet. Um, hi, I think I'm confused uh, with how we're choosing our products. So if, for example, I'm taking data engineering, should I take three projects from data engineering or one from data engineering, one ML and one Web3? For the presentation. So let's distinguish by three objectives. Presentation, improvement or flagship or capstone. Which one? So for the presentation, that's going to be next week. You know, before the graduation, you will have to present. For that presentation, I say choose three projects that you will be talking. The total time is still seven minutes, but you would present on three things that you have done. Right? Okay, that's for presentation. Next week, between Monday and Wednesday, there will be a presentation. Is that clear? Super clear, that one? I got it? Yes. Okay, now let's talk flagship. That will be done this week. The flagship project is to really try to polish any of your projects in the past such that they are ready, you know, they are, you are happier with them. Something that you wanted to do, you didn't have time, you would do it today. Like you would do it this week. But then you have to tell us today, you know, what would you like to do this week? Because it's you who would just design, you know, that. Okay. Is that also clear? Yes. So that one, it can be one project you can choose. 
you can choose many projects to improve and to be done and over let's say this week like when it comes from our perspective from our context and then the third one is capstone capstone is what you will do after you graduate it could take two months it could be the next six months it could be one year it could be one week you know it's up to you 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 might not even want to do it like but i'm just we're just interested that you actually think start thinking about a project let's say a startup or something a cause that you know that would combine the skills that you have uh, gained the knowledge you gained the people that you have understood to start using them to try to put them together for a certain cause that's a capstone project to complete something that you are, you you plan yourself so that's that's basically planning only this week there's nothing about it other than planning for that is that clear yes so is the three objectives clear then are you super clear margaret because that's a very important to be in the same page um yes now it's clear thank you okay Mohammed, sorry yes Mohammed? um actually you you, you answered uh, part of my question i was about to um restate what you have said about the objective of the week so we have uh, developed one project present three projects from the three different uh, uh routes career routes and the other one the, the last one is the capstone project which will be we will uh, develop uh this this week but we will do it after that right exactly yeah, yeah. thank you okay um and it uh so we have to select uh, one project to one or many projects actually to polish yeah. uh and like uh to polish and uh, finish them so that it could be uh it would be like very uh presentable in our portfolio right exactly. so uh does it have to be like the one that we want to polish does it have to be from the track that we uh selected or no, uh, we, no. We, i think uh, I mean, in principle, of course, you know, you would like to work on on track that you you want just so that, but it, it doesn't have to be. It, okay. it is you are free, yeah. Okay. Just whatever you well, want. The, the better, like uh, the it's better for us to like polish the ones that we are going to like uh, the, from our routes, like right. I think yeah. I think that that's recommended, right? Yeah, I mean, I think because you 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 are kind of. Uh, you know, you are actually trying to show, demonstrate for people. Right? Portfolio really means, you know, just to, to get a job. And so yes. in the area that you want to get a job, you want to improve. Just, you know, you want to show something cool. So, so it makes sense. But, you know, if you really were, if you are still planning data engineering, but you still want to improve the, the you know, the web city, because right now there is a fresh knowledge, there is support, and I want to do oh, it. I think great. it's up. Thank you. So, Tegusti, you can come up with basically your own topic, but also we have recommended three topics um, just as a starting. So, these are the three topics that are, um, like, let's call them topics, that, that are recommended. Again, again, that's just based on my interest and based on what I think it puts together some of the skills that you have. Okay. So, um, but you can come up with your own topic and write it and you know basically that okay and then uh was that sam and then in return are the potential employers going to come from all three tracks or from individual tracks? i think individuals i mean we will plan but it's going to be individuals no i meant the individuals that are going to come are they going to be from each Truck by truck, I mean Web three. I I, I mean it's it's not it's not arranged yet, so let's call it. It's okay. So it's not arranged. It's like I'm just going to invite some people. If they come, they come. And okay, it's not uh, okay. Okay, it's not, it's not a guaranteed thing. 
it's not official yet. It's not official. It's not arranged yet. It's just the most important part is for for us, for me to be able to say, okay, you know, I trust this person is really, you know, they have they can present their work to the employer or to identify, okay, to give feedback. Okay, some elements of that presentation should be improved. For example, okay, some people they just don't keep the time. Some people don't, you know, that it's just to be able to because you know this is the, the engagement um, that we want to build, right? We want to provide that final summary of like, okay, you have done really this one, you know, you nailed it, or yeah, like you need to improve just on this part. But it's much more of to demonstrate, and because you're gonna be presenting like that, even if you don't present slide, you're gonna be talking to employers a lot. So it's just this is much more of a quality assure, you know, kind of call it quality assurance. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and then uh, Emitna. Yes. Uh, so about the point of that uh, we can take uh, past projects and improve on them. Uh, so uh, for this week we are supposed to do this for one project, but uh, is it okay that? We no, no, no. It's, it's, I mean, one project or many, but it's like, I say one project so simplified. Okay. But you can, you can take multiple projects and improve them. Uh, yeah. It's just you plan them. Yeah. You can plan them today. Okay. What is my, my options? You know, what, should, what do I want to do? Do I choose multiple of these projects and improve them? Their gate structure, their code, or do I want to finish? Do I want to take one project and then finish a lot of it? A lot of some, some of the build more features or do something. It's yeah, a, but okay, this plan. plan should be for this week alone, uh, yes. because if uh, it's a plan for like multiple weeks, uh, because I have a lot of, for example, I have a lot of things that I want to improve or I yes, have, but, I can improve, but yeah. um, it will take time. Yes. So should I have a yeah. plan for this week alone? You, you can have, you can have a plan and it's okay, but we would require for your, for this week's plan to be very clear. Okay. Yeah. So because so, we, you know we wanna we wanna take it as an evaluation. Did you plan something and achieve it? All right. Uh, okay. So I, I should make a plan for this week that is clear and I can achieve by the end of the week. But exactly. maybe it's also possible you, for me to have a plan you. overall that will take a longer your, time. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, no worries, and it's just good to be clear. Exactly. So Johannes. Okay, thank you. I am clear on the objective, but uh, did I just uh, heard that the presentation is next week or is it going to be yes. this week? Presentation is next week before graduation. Graduation is on Thursday, right? So between Monday and yes. yeah, Wednesday. Okay, thank you. And Matt? Uh, uh, so my question is on the capstone project that we have to provide the uh, documentation or like the plan for. So uh, is is that going going to be like this week's task, like one of this week's objective? Like, do I have to pre prepare that capstone project and like write up the tasks we are going to like tackle and everything? And, uh, and document it and share it with yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, or... I, I think it's it's a it's a. I haven't controlled, but okay. it is very important that you use this week for that. Okay, because so this is just another yes uh, task. Like, can we consider it like as a task that yes. we have to write up uh, about like our keep at, at least at least two things: identify the topic you would like, but okay. if and then. I mean, I think it's like this thing is takes some time, right? So at least demonstrate something that would help because if you don't plan it this week, if I don't know this week, if you don't know the resources, whatever, it's, it's harder once, you know, once we are not meeting every day. I mean, it could, uh, I think, uh, like, it might not be uh, as clear for us to like, uh, which like task, like a specific task we need to like, uh, do in order for the success, well, I mean, in order to complete or for the success of the capstone project. So it might be like an ongoing process, like yes. even figuring out the tasks. So it would be very difficult to write up the entire plan for the capstone project. So my uh, 
question rise from this like uh, concern that what if we are not like we don't have a clear steps that we're planning to do for the capstone project how are we going to like yeah. write that up and incorporate it i think you know take it i think jose also asked the same question and i think it's an important one i don't want to impose oh submit some plan i would i know that helps i know that would really structure it if i say okay submit you know you're also proposed whatever but this is a capstone project this is a project that you need to think more right all we can say that it is important if you maintain if you start a document you start planning and think about infrastructure think about people you want to include um and if you want us to review you give us we'll ask you an update but it is not going to be a task okay, that clear. Clear. thank you yeah. it, it, it is it is like if you don't want to do capstone i think you know it's it's fine with me as well um but i would strongly recommend given our resource and given your skill and it is important if you entertain it yeah uh, definitely i would love to do the capstone project yeah thank you now it's clear great okay Johannes, do you have another question or is that from the previous one if not i think hopefully this gives you a very clear i'm sure i assume everybody is very super clear on their you know what is this week's it's slightly different but it's super clear so yeah then all the best and at the academy team we can stop the recording cheers guys bye